So I'm sure at some point to another you've heard the hype about either Raspberry Pi or an Arduino or an ESP32. So many devices. Let's unpack who we should use what, whether or not you should get one and what's actually needed code on one of them. Let's get straight into it. What is up guys? As you all know, I'm the Revengers Hammer. Let's start off on the extreme end first, the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi versus an Arduino versus a Raspberry Pi Pico versus an ESP32. So I'm going to shift them into two categories. You get the Pi. The only thing it doesn't have is a hard drive and you use an SD card for its hard drive space. Everything else, it's a full fledged computer. You can run operating systems on it. More detail later. The rest of them are microcontroller. That means it can run one function at a time. We'll go through the pros and cons of each, but just keep that in mind. Raspberry Pi. This you can run an operating system such as Linux. So in other words, it can actually be used as a desktop computer. One of the functions I use it for is a Octoprint server. There's so many videos out there. Just Google or YouTube functions of it, but that's what it's used for. So it's not really used for coding, but it's to load an operating system. I used to use it to run my 3D printers. Uh, you can use it as a media player, as a NAS storage. There's so many operating systems that you can install. So keep that in mind. Before I get into the technical specs of them, what are some of the functions you can use this for? You can use these for sort of switching lights on and off, for having door locks uh, with the motor connected to it, LED lights, it's called a microcontroller because it runs a very simple program. First up is the Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno is sort of the OG, the original gangster of the microcontrollers. It's also the most expensive. This one is roughly $20. It doesn't have Bluetooth, doesn't have Wi-Fi. The Pi Pico, this one has Wi-Fi in it, roughly $8. And then the ESP32, which has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on it, was $7 or so. So as you can see, the Uno, which offers the least amount of features, is actually the most expensive. You're sort of paying for the brand name. Of the three of them, this generic ESP32 is actually the most powerful. It has the most amount of RAM in it. You run the software on your computer, you code it, you can either download it, compile it yourself, find it on Reddit, what have you. Then you connect it with the USB to one of your microcontrollers and then it's loaded. Obviously you need to power these devices. So this is a very quick video, not too much of details, but the Raspberry Pi lineup, it's used for installing an operating system. Onto the microcontrollers, like I said, you get many variants, but they all do the same thing. They run one process or one operation, and that's their job. There's so many uses. You can YouTube that, but just know that each one can only do one function at a time. Now onto the accessories. This is sort of the fun part. Uh, guys, just so you, you know how I got into this, I wanted a hobby and a hobby that I could expand and learn something that I knew relatively nothing about. So last year for my birthday, I bought myself an Arduino kit. The first thing that you need is a breadboard. With. So secondly are these cables. How these cables work is you connect it to a node on the microcontroller and that gets connected to the breadboard. Then your breadboard can get connected to whatever device you want. Yeah, as you can see now, I coded this on the Arduino. Um, it's a nice little hobby to pick up. Breadboard, cables, and then whatever you want to connect, whether it's LCDs, or whether it's LEDs. Lastly, who is it actually meant for? In my honest opinion, it's meant for anyone, whether you're a child, whether you're a retiree or someone in between. It's a nice hobby to learn a new skill. The skill here is coding. So you download a software onto your computer, you code on that software, you can download them or come up with code yourself. It's a skill that you can learn. Everything is on YouTube free of charge. So I do recommend this. 
I do give it my Revengers Hammer stamp of approval. Um, let me know in the comments below what you would like to do with this or if you have any preference on any of them. Thank you so much for watching. New videos coming soon. As always, I'm the Revengers Hammer.